and welcome to Grand Tour Nation, your go-to source of information on cars and the Grand Tour, and today, old Top Gear, I suppose. I'm Alex, make sure you find me on Twitter, at AlexDoesCars, and before we get into today's story, if you enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, click that notification bell below, and as always, find out more on www.grandtournation.com. The Top Gear specials were the best, weren't they? We watched as Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and James May embarked on adventures across the world. They drove through war-torn cities, pushed three beta cars to the limits and sometimes even made the history books. Is that the right place? Yeah. But what was most important to us viewers was not only the chemistry between the three presenters, but the relationships they built with their cars. Oliver. Richard Hammond's Opal from the Botswana special is a prime example of this. He loved that car so much that he had to bring it home to Wales, where it underwent a full restoration. He still owns it to this day, and it's become one of the most famous cars from Top Gear history, up there with the invincible Toyota Hilux and uh, Jeff. But Clarkson's Lancia from Botswana was just as interesting, and while he didn't form an emotional attachment to it like the Alfa Romeo GT V6 from the Grand Tours Scotland special. It left a mark on Top Gear fan Ryan Ball. He and his family, after lots of calls and research, went on the hunt to find the old Lancia Beta Coupe, which was apparently left to rot in Botswana. They posted a video, which I've linked in the description below, where they eventually find it in quite a sorry state. It's said that before leaving Botswana, the team that helped Top Gear make the special reattached the doors and sold it on. Since then, it looks like it's been through the wars, but there's a bit of speculation as to whether this car is the actual car. I believe it is the real car. One, because of the number plate, but two, Ryan actually shows us the damage left over from where the battery shorted out on the bonnet. And while we're not shown in the video, Ryan also mentions bullet holes in the floor. Uh, interestingly though, to play devil's advocate, the hole in the roof was very clean compared to how it was removed in the episode. This could have been cleaned up afterwards, along with the rest of the car, or this is a huge coincidence and uh, we're talking about a random car in Botswana right now. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think it's a real car? And while you're at it, let me know what your favourite cars are from the many, many Top Gear specials that I'm sure we've all seen. Thanks for watching this video, leave a like for more videos just like this, follow me at Alex Does Cars, and head over to GrandSwanNation.com for more videos just like this. Uh, also, thank you so much for everyone being so lovely in my first video talking to the camera. It went down really well, it's got something like 50,000 likes which is just absolutely ridiculous um, and I, uh, I, I'm just so grateful that everyone was so kind and was so nice because I'm not great to the camera. Um, but we are trying to do this YouTube thing, so let us know in the comments what you want us to, to do. Do you want us to review cars? Do you want us to find the cool cars from Top Gear? Let us know and we'll try and bring you the best content we can, which we've been doing on GrandTourNation.com for as long as I can remember now. Thanks so much for watching. Again, talk to you soon.